Hi, my name is Aaron Thomas. I'm from the Manchester Central Campus and it's a pleasure to be with you sharing the devotional. We're still on the theme of key relationships and I'm going to be talking about John the Disciple and Jesus' relationship. John the Disciple and Jesus' relationship. But before I start, I want to say this. Read the book of Luke. It's an amazing book to read and it's just filled with so much rich content that's going to bless your life. So whether it takes you a day, a week, a month, a couple of months, please do read the book of Luke. But one thing it highlights in the book of Luke is this. John the disciple is the disciple whom Jesus loved. That is unbelievable statement to make because Jesus loves everyone. But there is a special mention for John the disciple to really highlight the fact that Jesus loved him. John the disciple was also one of three the other two being James and Peter, who had access to Jesus that the other disciples didn't. So, in essence, he was in Jesus' inner circle. Here's the first question I want to ask you this morning, or whenever you're listening to this. If Jesus needed an inner circle, do you think you need one? Other things about John, the disciple, that I think are, are poignant is this. He was with Jesus the longest. He saw many miraculous acts that Jesus performed. He also was there when he was getting crucified on the cross. And history would show that that was a great moment for all humanity and Jesus dying for our sins. However, at that moment, it would have been a low moment. It would have been a time of despair. It would have been a time of, oh my gosh, what has just happened? Jesus has died. But John was there. I want to ask you this question again. If Jesus needed an inner circle, do you think you need one? And within your inner circle, because I dare to say that we all need an inner circle. We all need relationships that we can be have the, the intimacy that John, John had with Jesus which was great intimacy. And for us, and what we can see as great intimacy is access, is number one. Two, that we could be honest and open and vulnerable. Thirdly, they're gonna be there in the good times and the bad. They're gonna be there for the long haul. They're key characteristics that I would ask you to consider when you're thinking about individuals in your inner circle and as you evaluate the people in your inner circle because there may be some people in your inner circle that you need to move out not because you don't love them but just you need to limit the access and there may be some people on the periphery of your life that you need to bring a little bit closer to you but I want you to take the example of John's the disciple and Jesus' relationship the intimacy that they had the fact that John was with Jesus, he believed in Jesus, he was for Jesus. And these are things that you need to consider in your own relationships and so do I as I look to my own relationships as well. Are you for me? Can I be completely open with you and honest with you? Are you going to be there in the good times and the bad? The mountaintop moments and the valley moments? If the answer to those questions is yes then you may be able to trust that person with your heart to open up about some of the, the good, the bad, and the, the indifferent areas of your life. And I really, truly believe that if Jesus needed an inner circle, so do we. So as you look to read the book of Luke, and you look at the relationship between John the disciple and Jesus and the great intimacy that they had, I want to encourage you that every relationship starts with a conversation. So I urge you, firstly, to have a conversation with God and pray and say, God, who's in my life? Is my inner circle the right, the right combination? And it's not to, to judge or be, because we're all flawed individuals. We all have strengths and weaknesses in relationships. It's not to judge individuals in our life, but it's also to, but it is to, be, to be wise and to be mindful that we need to assemble and in a circle that is going to edify, that's going to empower, that's going to encourage, that's for us, that's in line with our values and our beliefs. 
uh, to truly fulfill what God's called us to do. So as you embark on this day, I encourage you to ask yourself this question. If Jesus needed an inner circle, do I need one? And if I do need one, which I believe we all do, who are those individuals? And what characteristics and qualities do they possess? And if you if you may feel that you're like, okay, fantastic, Aaron, but well, I've got no one in my life that that fits or or meets that that standard. Pray, God, illuminate people in my life that I can meet up with and connect with, that I can be honest with, that I can grow with, I can build with, because we're. Like I'll always say, I need you, you need me. We all need individuals that we can be completely honest and, and vulnerable and naked before in our rawest thoughts and emotions at times. And there's, that has to come from an element of trust that is built through relationship. So... As I conclude, I say this. Heavenly Father, everyone that is listening to this devotional, I pray that you would allow them to assemble an inner circle that would last a lifetime. That those individuals in their inner circle would be empowering, would be edifying, would be integrous. That would hold their heart honorably. That would allow them to be honest and open with them. That would walk with them in the triumphant moments, the successful moments, the euphoric moments and also the times that they may have challenges and, and difficulties and low ebbs but above all else illuminate those individuals for them so they can assemble there in a circle that would allow them to fulfill all that you've called them to do in this season and the seasons ahead in Jesus name God bless you love you stay connected to church stay connected to life groups please I need you, you need me, we need each other, we're the body of Christ. Stay connected and assemble your inner circle that's going to allow you to be all that God's called you to be in this season. This is a time to advance and be all that God has called you to be. God bless you, take care.